Hey there Pisces, hope you are doing well. This is Jamie and welcome to Soulvine. If we haven't met, awesome to have you here. And howdy to all our returning viewers and subscribers, appreciating you as always. All right guys, we're gonna just connect into the energy and see what is happening for you. I've already cleared the space uh, and I meditated and there was um, a specific message for you guys and uh, I will get into that in just a sec. Let me just get a couple more cards. Um, but to let you know, the message that came through was what was once lost will now be found. So I don't know if that is in regards to a job, a particular item, um, a situation. Uh, and sometimes what I was getting in for some of you, it might be like something coming back around again in terms of an opportunity, something obviously better, greater, um, or something that, you know, you disconnected from or potentially lost, physically lost, maybe it's a piece of jewelry is coming, you'll find it again. So I think the message is going to resonate and relate differently for all of you. Uh, but that's what came through uh, quite loud and clear at the end of my meditation when I asked a mes message for you guys. Okay. So what else do we need to know for our Pisces and what is happening? So I do want to say happy birthday for those that have a birthday today or coming up here or at the time of this reading. Um, Pisces season is upon us and also it's a new moon energy at the time of this reading. Uh, so manifest your desires loves because there is a lot happening when it comes to um, things connecting in things, you know, reconnecting, committing it's like things are lining up and what's meant to really, you know, uh, be developed, uh, go deeper, connect on a, a more, uh, what's the word? Like on the same type of agreement going forward. It's like you, you guys are making a decision or it's a really good time for that to, to start evolving for you. Okay. All right. One more and then we'll get into this reading. Thank you. I'm going to grab three for the challenge and then how we can best support your path and journey. So current challenge. What does Pisces need to know? Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Thank you. And then three, please, spirit, four to support their outcome. Thank you. Two more. Two more. So if you're new here, we do Pisces daily and we also have Cancerians. I probably, you'll find if I'm doing extra reads, they're usually in for Pisces. The more that we get the Cancerians um, views up, Obviously, we will invest more, but right now we're doing it daily during the week for our Cancerian energy. All right, guys. So showing up, you've got the muse of emotions, the full energy, and the emperor. Okay. Now, I think we got a sim similar combination yesterday with the other deck around this muse of emotions and taking a leap forward here. Um, this definitely feels like there's something that you're feeling called to do and really step into here, um, Pisces or moving towards like something where you're taking a lot more charge in terms of your life, in terms of your stability, maybe your career, your finances, um, just with the emperor energy, I feel like this is where you're leading towards or leaning into right now. Um, you know, just someone who has just this strength in, I feel like making things happen, um, but it's something to do around, like, I feel like future proofing yourself. Okay. Um, There's a lot around you and a new version. This could also be someone who's offered you an opportunity um, and a quite significant job, 
But either which way, it's something that you're stepping into in that energy of really taking charge of your life uh, and your future. With this muse of emotions, it, this is saying like you're ready. You're like everything that you have accumulated um, the lessons that you've learned, the spiritual journey, like you're in a very strong place to move forward now because you're seeing things, I think, in a different light, in a different way. You're feeling quite sound in like emotionally, which when you're sound, you're at peace, right? You're, you're in a place of just this strength. You've got a lot of masculine energy that you're stepping into, it seems, Pisces, okay? It could also be too for some of you that this muse of emotions energy, this king of cups energy, has come forth uh, with an opportunity to do something with you. Potentially, uh, it could be a partnership as well, or again, you're working with this person on, on a project of some kind. But I think this could be either or for you guys. You're either stepping into this fully, um, and it's your energy, or it's your, the energy that you're connecting with someone on. So take what resonates for you. Obviously, being a general read, um, that message is going to be different for you. So Knight of Materials, the Empress and the Queen of Voices. There seems to be some communication um, that's coming, coming forward for you, Pisces. Uh, and I see this in two parts. And they're coming to, to you, towards you. If you have a look at both the Knight of Materials here and this Queen of Voices energy, they're looking at the Empress. And that is the center of your read, okay? So as we connect in and they're... They're connecting in to you, coming towards you. We'll find out more about what this uh, is. But as I've said earlier in the new Pisces, uh, new moon Pisces energy, as we're connecting into that, you're going to find over the next coming weeks, if a lot of you have been working on creating something, putting something out there into the world, a job, a project, like something that you're wanting to do that gains recognition, needs people to come together. There's just something very special about what you're doing and it's like you're attracting it in. So be mindful of that because you might find you're getting a lot of interest and sometimes it's not easy to decipher what that's going to be. Um, with the news of materials, uh, sorry, night of materials, there, there must be news there because it said news of materials. So to me, that spirit saying like there's something of value coming towards you, okay, and offer an opportunity. I feel what once has been slowed down, I feel is is moving forward, get, gathering greater speed. We do see normally the night of um, materials being pentacles in other decks slow. As you can see, this one is starting to pick up. It's coming towards you. So that could be what was once lost is now found if it's got something to do with material uh, value um, of some kind here or something around stability, okay? That's what's showing up here uh, at the moment for what we have. This queen of voices is the energy or someone that you may be connecting to as well, Pisces, to help you perhaps bring a different talent or skill to help you whether it's build something or create something that you're putting out there you might find that you need some advice or some support for someone and this person whoever this is this queen of voices energy is going to have the the intel that you need maybe they're even going to help you connect deeper to your gifts this person could come in many different uh, ways towards and helping and supporting you but that's what i'm getting from this queen of voices energy so anything or everything that may be coming towards you they're going to help you um kind of master the the other pieces that maybe is not you know your greatest strength in your wheelhouse okay even the Empress energy has the people to help support her and do things. You know, she's very good at outsourcing, um, but also nurturing scenarios to, to create and to birth. It's not something that's done on her own. She knows how to lead and how to bring people together. Um, page of inspiration, four of voices, two of inspiration. So wherever this is going or wherever this is moving to, there's a lot of new ideas that seem to be coming to light here uh, for you, Pisces. Okay. I do feel that somewhere here, there may be a bit of a slowdown. 
But interesting, it keeps repeating to me, what was once lost is now found. So where there's been potential communication, I feel like there's some other, someone else is coming in to, to share some, some message, some news or some opportunity with you where you've taken a step back perhaps because you've started focusing on something else. But I feel like this, you know, intrigues your interest in some way with this tour of inspiration. And you may actually look at this offer or opportunity, um, and come out of, um, potential just, for some of you, I think it's going to come out of your, your shell even greater. Um, but it's like you have a new insight towards something that the only way to get that or to achieve that was to have some form of timeout is what I'm getting here. Um, but it's like something that maybe you've been wanting is coming back around again, Pisces, for you to have a good look at, okay? So your challenge here is showing up is envy, daughter spirit, and community. So whatever it is that it seems that you may have achieved, um, you know, you might just have some people around that want what you have, want what you've got, okay? And a part of this, it's, it's a challenge because it could also be too for you. Maybe you want things to move faster. You want things to move quicker. Maybe you've been waiting for your time um, and you're wondering when that's going to come in or when that's going to show up. I do feel this is someone that's going to potentially challenge your thinking a little bit. And the reason they're going to challenge you is... For some of you who are coming into a financial opportunity and gains, which I've said is very much like highlighted for you, Pisces. And now that we've got Venus in Aries, that is a lot around financial growth and opportunities. That's a very around leadership energy. Okay. Um, going out there, claiming what's yours, doing what you need to do to make magic happen. So it seems to be that you are firing at all cylinders and hence why you might need to take a bit of time out here, right? Because things are picking up. But daughter spirit with community, you, you're being led and guided here. I just feel like doors that were closed are now going to be open, Pisces. Interesting message that's coming here, but that's what I feel is happening. The things that you've been praying for, the things that you've been asking for, the things that you have been so freaking patient about, right? That's what I see is happening here. And with this community um, card, when you connect all these as part of your challenge is that when things start really taking flight and really moving forward, there is this part of assessment that needs to take place, discernment, right? Of knowing the right people to, to connect with, the right opportunities to take without overburdening yourself. And I feel like that just could be the challenge right now is where to give your energy and not get distracted on your growth and the things that you are actually creating for yourself. Okay. So we're going to dive in a little bit further and see what else spirit has for you um, regarding this story. News of emotions. What do we need to know, know for our Pisces? So we've got two of wands and four of wands. So there's definitely someone coming in here or around you that is supporting some form of plans or something that you have created, but you're moving very swiftly to this two of ones and four of ones because you feel like whatever this opportunity or connection is for you, it feels very in alignment. It feels right. It's like you both or whatever's presented itself, you can see the opportunities ahead. It's, you know, again, like this door to spirit energy. It's, it's like, you can see it. It's, it's like the path is lit. You, you probably could see it with your eyes closed. You probably think about it all the time. You know, maybe, you know, I think a funny thing is, you know, in the shower reality is a lot of us think about and get these ideas and things just pop up. Right. And I feel like whatever this is, is a lot on your mind. And usually those things that are on your mind and you've made plans, it's like you're taking action, um, quite swiftly or whatever needed to happen in between of moving forward. It's, I feel it just comes through. It just, it just works. It plugs in. It makes sense. And showing here as the full, it's like you, you've already made that decision here. 
because it's just this knowingness. So I don't know if this is past energy for you or something that you just recently, like very recently made that decision here. Um, but that's what's showing up. Uh, the full energy. What do we need to know for our Pisces? That's a lot. Okay. So we have got nine of swords and the three of wands. Wow. Okay. So the full is the energy about the action that you've taken. It's like you, you're ready to go and just enjoy this. And I feel... I like that about you, your sense of curiosity, but your sense of determination as well. It's like you've seen something, your eye is on it, and I feel like there's nothing that's going to stop you. But for some reason, this Nine of Swords is showing up, and I'm going to further clarify this, but I think this is just concern. What if I get it wrong? What if I don't do it right? You know? Um, I feel you're supported here, Pisces. You've got a knowingness, and I think it's important to trust that, okay? Nine of Swords, thank you. Yeah. Whatever challenges that you've had um, around this Knight of Swords energy, again, you know, I did say about things maybe keeping you up at night, things maybe um, you're thinking about this all the time. And it's only until you take action and are in that energy truly and fully will you start being able to alleviate any of these concerns or worries that you may have. But it seems that the plans that you have made and that you're leaning into seem to be the right ones. Like I said, the two to the four and then the three showing up, it's kind of the validation that spirit's going to guide you on what action you need to take. Don't worry about the how, just go do. You've got the plan, go after the plan because it's part of your path and journey. And the world card is telling me this is going to be successful. Okay for you, whatever this is. Um, but a big part of it is again, trusting, let go of whatever challenges or things are in your head. Just go after it. Like what is stopping you? The fear. Cause that's what's showing up here. The fear you will, you know, the worst thing is, is having regret by not doing something or taking too long. And then it's speed. Everything is about speed, but Speed to market, I think is important. I've spoken to that about, about it guys, you know, if it's business and opportunity, You've got to know when to push that accelerator and when to let it off a bit. But there's a different speed knowing when to go 100 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour. Okay, so just just be mindful of that and trust in, in that for yourself. Uh, the Emperor Energy, what do we need to know? Emperor Energy. Okay, strength. Okay, this is about you being courageous, going after what you want. Okay, Hermit and Ace of Cups, yeah. So this emperor energy, I think two parts. There is someone here that absolutely believes in you, but more importantly, you've got to believe in yourself at the end of the day with anything that we're really wanting to achieve. Okay. That's as much as it may be inside ourselves. It's something outside of ourselves that we see, you know, something tangible, something we want to feel um, in terms of actually touch and, what I'm gathering from this is it's going to require strength and courage as part of this bravery and belief. Okay. The, the emotional aspect is the belief in yourself and the trust in who you are. Your best investment is you. So wherever you're giving this, this is going, you're going to start seeing the rewards and benefits as you step into this emperor energy. But again, I'm just hearing alleviating any fear it's sometimes like um i don't know if any of you are familiar with mel robbins work but you know it's kind of like that three two one get up and go don't sit and think about it just go do it but with the hermit energy it's i feel just a little bit here that you're questioning whether you're ready or the person that you're connecting with who may be also offering you something with this emperor energy, whether they're ready, whether they've done enough work to meet you where you're at, just because someone might hold an emperor energy or space doesn't mean they have everything in terms of intelligence, um, experience, all the things. Okay. They've just worked really hard and take ownership and go make magic happen. Okay. That's part of the emperor. Sometimes they're lucky. It's part of their, um, you know, 
their path or what their parents have achieved and it's kind of passed on to them right but for a lot of us it's about hard work and and making things happen and some people really bluff their way to the top okay but what i'm just getting in this scenario is that there's just some question here of whether someone has done enough of the inner work that can support you in a sense of without giving you their own bullshit okay without uh projecting their crap on you is kind of what i'm getting a little bit here but um, wherever you're stepping into, it seems to be a, a very strong position here, Pisces, when you truly believe in you and just know that you're protected, okay? And, and you've got, you, you're so insightful. Your intuition is sharp. You know when you know. So lean into that, okay? Because there's, there's a lots of exciting opportunity here. Nine of Materials, what do we need to know? We've got the lovers, wow. The Nine of Pentacles, wow, and the Queen of Pentacles, wow, wow, wow. So show me the money, okay? I'm definitely feeling that here. There's a lot of Pentacles. Um, if you wanted to see, this is one coin and nine coins. You've got the 10 and you've got the lovers. So whatever news and information is coming on through, whatever you've been thinking about, about a particular connection that you just feel is right, this is confirmation here. This is confirmation of whatever your taking a chance in is going to be successful. We already see the world energy with this. We're seeing the strength showing up, the hermit, which is kind of your guiding light at the same time, but also making sure that you're questioning people around you. There's nothing wrong with having discernment versus, you know, judgment. You know, that's, you need to, to judge situations, whether it's right for you, but take in what you receive here. Okay. Because Whatever's coming through seems very significant, an important connection path forward that's going to really give you what you've been wanting, ultimately. Uh, I just see you just like bossing up big time. I really, really do, Pisces. I really, really do. I feel what's happening here too. You're starting here in really growing, but where you're, where it's going is, is something pretty major. Okay. Something pretty major. The Empress energy. What do we need to know? I am sure we had this combination last week in one of the reads, the death with the Empress. What else do we need to know? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. This is huge guys. One more. Oh, blow it out of the water. Blow it out of the water here, guys. Holy cow. So. What was once lost is now found. Divine connection. We see the lovers there. We see the four of wands there. Whatever is coming in for you regarding some opportunity, person, connection, maybe it's love interest. I'm feeling a lot around um, I'm feeling a lot around your career and money right now, but this could be a, a, like a significant partnership, job opportunity. This could also be about love. So I'm not discounting that. It's all going to be different for you, but whatever's coming on in, there's something major happening with a connection. It could have been one that ended and is rebirthing a new beginning. Um, This could be that opportunity that you have been waiting for. It's like you've been waiting for the right partner to come in to make this happen. And your patience and whatever communication is coming on through, like I said, you just have this knowing about something you want to do. Whatever's coming on in, I'm, this is very, very big. This is like a, a new chapter for you, a new, a new doorway. A new doorway in your life. I'm really feeling that, Pisces. Queen of Voices, what do we need to know here? Holy cow. I mean, <laughs> you've got a lot of the mages showing up. One more. Okay, let's give them two more. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So, um, with the Queen of Voices, she showed up again, okay? So, this is validating whatever you need to get to the core of in terms of some truth, um, in terms of some direction, in terms of making plans that are 
it's interesting. The word they're giving me is fiscally aligned. So around your finances that make, make sense financially, but, um, If there's something that you are waiting to see, know, or like you're kind of unsure about something because of the unknown, whatever you need to, to, to gather, to be aware of, you're going to get to that truth. Okay. But the only way you're going to get there is by moving forward. It's not a point in time to stand still. What's great about life Pisces is that we have choices and decisions we can make at any time. So this is just being whoever you need to lean into. If this is about documents, legals, um, it's okay to go get that because there's maybe something here that you're not seeing. Okay. That's what this could be, what you're not seeing about an offer or an opportunity. As I said too, anything that's keeping you up that you're thinking about, this may be coming late at night. It's like you're getting those epiphanies. I don't know for some of you, if you're like, if you find you're more creative at night or in the morning, um, we can all be different. I know that like my creatives can get, uh, you know, peak at night and I've had to learn how to manage that so I can sleep. Okay. Um, and it took me a long time, especially with my, when I started my first company, because that's all I was thinking about 24 seven. It was a lot of like work, 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 you know, and a little bit, you know, controlling in some aspect. And I, and it, I took a while to go, I'm allowed to have a break. I'm allowed to have downtime. And I think the more confident and the more you let go and have the right people around you, it becomes easier. But in saying that there's something here that it seems like you don't have enough information, but you will get it if that's what you're needing. But an important part is the movement forward um, or the progress made. It's not about standing still. You will get the insight. So please trust in that. Okay. But don't stay still too long. Um, I think I did mention that sometimes, you know, it is about the speed and knowing when to go really fast and when to slow down. So take that into uh, consideration as well. Page of inspiration. What's this message about? Page of inspiration. What do we need to know? The mother star. Beautiful. Okay. This is good news. Whatever's coming on through and eight of wands. Holy cow. Really good news. Whoever's coming in to talk to you about some creative endeavor um, or something that someone wants to do. This is very much the significance of yes. You might find that you are actually traveling a lot here. Okay. Um, or being called to go travel somewhere. There's something happening, but whatever it is, there is a lot of movement, a lot of progress, um, but a lot of rolling out the carpet for you, Pisces. So if you want it, you got it. Uh, it's a matter of, again, just, I'm just getting, don't stand still. If you've been wanting to create this, Maybe at some point in your life, you had a lot of successes, things slowed down, the economy, you know, opportunities, you name it, whatever is happening here, like you can walk and a door will open for something. You can walk and another door will open over there. As you walk through this door, another three doors are going to open. Like you are just like, the way I see it, like is amazing. You've got this something special happening for you right now, Pisces. Uh, and it's been a long time coming. I know. I feel you. All right. Four of voices. We've got the devil energy showing up. Yeah. I think this is just part of like sometimes excess, right? Like doing a lot. When you're doing a lot, constantly juggling everything, a lot of opportunities at play. This is okay to take time out. I just feel... Um, Again, this is just something that maybe you're overworking because everything's showing up. Maybe it's just a little bit draining. Something here is just taken over a little bit, maybe to like events, going out, you know, relationship building. It takes so much energy and so much time. Um, and I know sometimes there's this, you know, concern of missing out, FOMO as they call it, but um you might find too that someone that you were once collaborating with, and I do believe this combination came up again a week ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago um, with the devil and the three pentacles. Uh, and for some of you who are waiting on a contract and, and a lot of you have verified that something that you're waiting um, to finalize or come through.
let's just get one more here because I feel like that's you're getting information. There's some information coming. Can you share more? Yeah, there's there's some change happening with this, okay, with this Eight of Cups. Um, I know for some of you consider the Eight of Cups a disappointment, but the change needs to occur so you're not sitting in the Eight of Cups anymore. You're not feeling like you're at a loss or you're missing something. So I feel like this is shifting because with this ten, uh, Three of Pentacles, this is showing more so about something finalizing okay or something coming together to work this is more on successful um movement with the devil energy again i'm only just getting more so of just too much going on excess in a lot of things and that's sometimes you, you just can't it's burnout you can't keep at that pace um and that's why something needs to change here but this could be help coming through um this is a good thing i'm seeing this is positive there's very positive okay two of inspiration what do we need to know here what do we need to know with this two of inspiration energy i'm interested to see what this um the outcome guidance is two of inspiration what do we need to know two of inspiration the sun yes claiming it sunshine down on me all right i like it guys so whatever <laughs> And I just wanted to get one more. Okay, this is good. I like it. I like it. I mean, for the outcome, for the sun to kind of to be showing up, to be shining the light, um, we see the beginning very strong, right? In terms of pathway, you've also got the two of inspiration showing up over here. So whatever plans you're making, whatever partnerships coming into play, this this is a has very strong potential here. Okay. Um, this card, the Seven of Pentacles, is about investing, is about your goals, is about the pathway that you're creating for yourself. It still is going to require hard work, but whatever seeds you've planted, um, that there's just a lot of opportunity and potential here. And what I like about this, Pisces, in terms of your plans, you're here. You're enjoying, you know, the the fruits that come with this the warmth that comes with this okay this card says fun magic love on it okay and i'm liking that there's like a new excitement there's new things blooming and and showing up this is not a beginning this is like more communication this is like more i'm just hearing more there's more coming that's really going to excite you. And I know the possibilities ahead are very, very sweet. Okay. So let's have a look at this end of envy and what you need to know. I'm going to get another deck for that. The challenge. <clears throat> what do we need to know about this envy energy? Yeah. So there's someone that may be in competition with you or someone that has different views about certain situations, but this is showing up more so like they're jealous or they want what you've got, you know. What else do we need to know about this five of wands? Yeah, they're seeing your growth. They're seeing your strength. They're seeing your determination. And someone here, I just feel, feels like they're missing out. They feel like, why aren't they, like, they've worked hard. They're pretty special. Why, why isn't things happening for them? Um, so you just might find, yeah, that there's just people around you right now are challenging you a bit um and this is why so understand that but you know you can you can you can choose who you want to let in energetically it's okay to be truthful that might be part of things that you need to cut out and communicate or put boundaries in play pisces door to spirit what do we need to know door to spirit challenge what do we need to know i feel this is around information let's have a look wow we saw the ace of cups over there we did we have the king of cups already showing up so it's interesting here because i feel like some of you are questioning this offer opportunity or connection the legitimacy of it or the path and direction to take this um this could be someone coming on in with a love offer or expressing interest in you Pisces. But I, again, I just feel like you've got a lot going on and you may not have the um, capacity or space to give to this, but 
it's showing this to me is showing it bears fruit. This to me is showing that it has something of value here, but you've got to be the one to see that and to find that. Okay. And daughter spirit, again, I feel like there's some communication that you need to know, or it's a door opening that you need to take. And it's something that's divinely guided. So if this resonates with the King of Cups energy or some opportunity that sparks your heart um, or interest, just be mindful here, okay? What else do we need to know about the community? I'm just getting a lot of you may not like being too much out in the spotlight. You might enjoy it a tiny bit, but you're like, I'm just kind of getting, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> what else do we need to know? So community got six of pentacles, five of cups. I feel this is some of you too having to like sharing some information. Okay. And when I say sharing information, let me get back around to explain what this is. I feel part of your challenge may be is kind of sharing your story. Okay. And because I think you're in such a good energy, you don't want to get back into what you have moved on from. And when you speak about stories or scenarios that weren't supportive, it's not good energy, right? At the end of the day, there's a difference working on it to work through it. But if you already work through it, the last thing you want to do is sit here and be talking about it. Okay. And I think that's going to be a big part of your challenge um, here for some of you. Okay because you just don't want to get back stuck where you were. And I also feel like this is also a sense of trust is that what you're putting in, are you going to get out of it with, with whatever is showing up here? Okay. So finally outcome, anxiety, contract, walking away. So we did see the anxiety, the nine of swords show up early on. So there is something here that, um, Seems again, I just feeling like overwhelmed, over sense of too many things going on, overstimulating uh, is the kind of energy I'm getting. Um, there's a contract and walking away. I'm going to get one more to further clarify this walking away energy. What do I need to know about this walking away energy for our Pisces, please? You may find that there's multiple things coming towards you, Pisces, like I said, and it's a lot. Um, sometimes it's about timing. So I feel whatever's showing up here on an opportunity or an offer, um, I feel like there's just like something that's going to show up that's not going to vibe for you, okay? And I feel this is part of you willing to stand your ground, to let them know, like, we need to kind of get to a place that's harmonious and in balance. And I feel this could also be part of this King of Cups energy, okay, about you being so emotionally intelligent in your approach that you know how to influence an outcome that you desire. I don't think this is an ultimatum per se, but you're willing to walk away from things that aren't just and right and balanced. This is seems to be this time around, and non-negotiable. And what I mean this time around is that you've learned the hard way on a lot of things. And this time you're standing your ground because you want things to work and be in flow and in balance. Okay. Um, and it's okay to be selfish about it. You're allowed to choose you first and foremost, and not put yourself as at a deficit for other people if it doesn't feel right. And you will know if it feels right or not, because there's something here that feels damn right and is showing up like sunshine. So, um, with the second chakra coming out here again, this is about birthing, um, creating, uh, there's something, something special that, that I feel is, um, the word is given me is germinating. So, and we do have the Empress energy showing up here as well. Uh, so there seems to be a lot of things that are, I feel growing behind the scenes is what they're giving me. Whatever you've planted, whatever you're going to invest in, this just is going to, you know, when you think of germination or if you think of, I don't know, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. When things are fertilized, um, when you think of like a baby and then the nine month 
progress and then it comes you know out into the world but it's still growing on the inside you just haven't seen it on the outside but you know it's happening and I feel like that's a little bit of the story here of there's so much happening and growth but what's going on when it comes to life in full force that you can touch and feel you know outside of you like I talked about earlier that's when you're going to see how real this is because it's very much showing up big time I'm going to leave that with you, dear ones. I hope this has been supportive. I appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye now.